with the preserve and now with this on pro tour scale you know there's been other events here and there in between but on a pro tour scale in the current state of disc golf is it more exciting when paul's not dominating yeah so this is this is an interesting one and i think this kind of goes into um you know the first question to answer is you know you know are you a paul fan because if it's like uh, any sport, you know, if you're a fan of a, of a player or a team and they're the ones doing the dominating, then it's already exciting because you're enjoying seeing that person succeed. And, you know, in our case, yeah, we have a little bit of bias when Paul wins. We like when Paul wins. But is that so to in, a certain degree? In my opinion, I don't care if Paul wins by 20 or if another player like wins by 20 because that's exciting to me because I like that player. OK, Nico Castro goes out there win by 20. I'm all for it. I'm a Nico fan. <laughs> um, but. If you're just a fan of disc golf as a sport and like you don't necessarily have biases to certain players or maybe you really like a lot of players, then yeah, I, I think not having a player and it doesn't, you know, Paul is just the guy who was kind of in those shoes these past few years and yeah, and this just year a player in general dominant. You know, it sport. used to be Ken Climo, but like a, a person and it was kinda, Ricky for a year or two yeah, as well. And it's kind of page in the women's game right yeah. now. But uh, a player who has the Paul Macbeth effect, I the mean, Tiger it, it was Woods the Tiger effect. Woods effect is what it kind of originally was. Um, yes, if you're not, unless you like really like that player, I can understand why it might turn you away from the game because you are watching it for the suspense of the finish, not just to see a certain person succeed. See, I'm obviously about as big a Paul fan as you can get. Okay. But at the same time, I think I'm more prone to watch the coverage of this event than I am if Paul won by 20. If Paul's up by 15 and it's not coming out of the wire, I'll watch the score. Yeah. But I'm not sitting down and watching live coverage. Okay. And it's the same thing. I might not watch live coverage. I might watch it after. I'm not even watching post. Mm, if, see, it's a, if it's a runaway, unless Paul does something criminal like 16 or 17. That's the thing. I like, I like seeing really good disc golf. Yes. So when guys are playing. and But just, I would rather see. So my ideal tournament, you know, being biased. There we go. My ideal tournament is Paul and Ricky battling it out mm-hmm. and it coming down like the last putt. Yeah. Obviously, I would want Paul to win in that situation because I'm a Paul fan. But regardless, it's the same thing. Like, if I'm watching a Duke UNC game, right? You don't want to see. I don't want to see Duke. That's a lie. I would love. I love you the wanna result, see, you but wanna, I don't want to watch it. Yes, you do. You want to watch Duke win by thirty, and then you want to be able to rub it in my face. I want to rub day. it in your face, but I don't like. What do you? What do you? What would you enjoy more? Would I want to. I would enjoy texting you as Carolina goes up by 20. Then you would 30, enjoy that then, more yes. than Duke a missing beater? a free throw off the front rim, catching it, throwing it up, catching it for the alley-oop, lay in at I the buzzer. It, yeah. Way better. No. Way better. No. You, you're, there's no way you can sit I here like and honestly tell me. <laughs> I want to see your team get demoralized by my no, team. Okay, maybe, but you would rather see that yeah. over Villanova hitting a buzzer beater for the NCAA title and just crushing every UNC fan's hopes and dreams. Like Coming down to the buzzer and coming down to the final hole way more exciting no matter what side you're on like there's no way around that it, it, it's just how i am i don't know well i think that the, the i hope in the let disc me golf say world this. disagrees with you there well let me say this though i do agree that if for the sake of disc golf as a sport i would rather see it be close every time okay here I'll and for the question. sake of like any sport like college basketball yeah for the sake of like college basketball doesn't need help being popular but for the sake of the sport yeah you want close finishes not the sake of the sport we're going enjoyment personal enjoyment we're yeah. not even going full-on crowd you're sitting down right now and you're watching one round of coverage yeah okay. one round any is coverage it, in it's, history it's oh is it live or or this is what it doesn't matter however you want to enjoy it one tournament you pick it what is that tournament i, I want like an actual tournament that's already happened yeah so like my favorite like or you can make up like the result but i just want to know for your enjoyment you're sitting down what are you watching well here's the thing if it's already been recorded, then I know the result. Okay, that's fine. So, like, what I was saying about the UNC Duke thing, if I was going to go back and watch something that already happened, then, yeah, I want to watch the close finish. If it's live, I don't want stress. So, but I want to see them blow them out. To a certain degree, but if they're blowing them out, if it's a blowout and a runaway, yeah. like, I might not watch the whole game. I will. But, like, I'm saying I'm not, if I'm watching the whole game, I'm watching it like this. Yeah, it's stress-free. And you want that? Sometimes okay. I need that. If I'm watching a live sport, I've, if I, I cheer pick, for some bad teams sometimes, man. <laughs> <laughs> if any Baltimore Orioles fans are out there, you understand where I'm at right now. If I'm picking, so if I'm picking We're one first place, if I'm picking one tournament, right, and I gotta watch it live, and I don't know the results, I'm going like 
I'm 2014 I was about to say the same thing because I already know what happened. No, you don't know the result. You, oh. you have to watch a tournament and it's going to come down to the wire. Like enjoyment wise, I'm going to get way more enjoyment out of watching that world championship go seven holes deep into a playoff between. So you're basically pitching a scenario where I have to erase my memory and then pick an event <laughs> and pick, I can either pick one where I know it's, but like, how, you, how does this work? I'm just saying, what would you enjoy more if you're sitting there watching it? If I don't know what's going to happen, I would rather see my favorite player on cruise control just dominating. Why? Because then they're like, I just love that. Like they're the best in the game. They're destroying the course and I'm just like sitting there taking it in. We're so different. Cause that like, I, I don't mind watching once. It. Okay. And here's another thing. Once it's over, like, yeah, I definitely enjoyed seeing him sink the putt for the win, the world title and the playoff. After. Yeah. Once it's over. Yeah. But we're talking about during, during, what I don't are want you, what are you more glued to the screen during? Okay. Well, that's not what we were asking. I'm, I, put, I'm just saying there's yeah, obviously like the for the good of disc golf, for the good of you watching, I said for the good of disc but golf, for the good of you, like enjoy, Maybe enjoyment is the, the wrong word. But like if you're, you're talking about glued gets, on the screen, you're not yeah, moving. Okay, getting my attention, yeah, the close one, obviously. So why would you why would you ever pick the runaway? Because it's not as stressful. I just said that. <laughs> but like I just to me, I would never choose it. Like I, I would, would I'm I'm a simple man. <laughs> I just make no sense to me.